God save our gracious Jim, long live our noble Jim, God save our Jim. Send him victorious, Jim glad and glorious. Stay fantastic for us. God save our Jim. Oh, baby. Right, let's go. This is the CCL semi final. It's my high elves versus Malala Noosa's Skaven. Um, he's got some inducements. We've got strength five catcher, an edge five catcher, some guards, some tackle, some dodge, some wrestle. Uh, he has uh, some edge five, some guard, some mighty blows, a strength up. So you know it's pretty, it's pretty, pretty kind of even. Apart from my team is a lot better, but he's going to have a wizard and something else. So there you go. In the booth is Calcium and Fimir. You guys can take over. Thank you very much, and I shall try hard. Everybody, here we are, another week in the most important game. I know the one from last week and the one before the last week and the one before the last week was the most important game, but this is the actual most important game because this is the actual semi-final, instant full semi-final between uh, the High Elves of Jimmy and the Rats of Malen and Nis, or whoever is uh, pronounced it or uh, whoever it is, which is going for two babes, Wizard or Journeyman. The other option was uh, instead of the babes, uh, Napo. So I approve that, Fame. Um, two babes is what I suggested um, before the, this game started. I uh, just want to say big thank you to Hellboy and the National Anthem. I was erect throughout that National Anthem. And then I, uh, the, that at any level, I, I believe you, Calcium. I 100% believe you. <laughs> right. Here we effing go. Jimmy Fantastic, CCL Chalice semi-final. Can he go all the way? And the Rats win the toss. And oh, uh, yeah, yeah, fame the GG. early GG. The earliest of GGs. The mind games, the psychology. Well, now we're going to see how uh, Malananus uh, with... Means pain in the ass, I think. Yes, yes, yes. Something related with your uh, ass and pain. Protects his uh, good players because there are not many cannon fodder. He only has 11 men and Jimmy has uh, access to he could I mean, he could hit the the strength for a rat, no problem. Man, yeah, I'm... both teams are in the same boat here, Feimir. Um, You know, neither of them have any spare players. Um, obviously, a couple of loners that Malanus isn't going to care about. But neither player can afford any attrition here, so... We'll see how what Nuffle does with regards to the block dice, but um, I think that Jim has a slight advantage with his high elves I mean, here. The average uh, uh, lineman from the high elves is better than the rat. Yeah, yeah. So he has uh, that going for him. And Malanes only has one uh, store vermin with the skills. The other is a rookie store vermin. So it look, I know he has guard, has guard. So many icons, so many icons in the uh, gutter runner. That's nearly impossible to see the other uh, skills. It's not going to be a shootout, but it's not going to be a Daka either for uh, Jimmy. No, I think um, I think the dice and the nuffle factor will determine how both teams ultimately play here. You know, um, so um, the kickoff, thankfully, wasn't a game-breaking kickoff. <laughs> uh, 
nothing. So that's more or less. Not very good for Jim, but it's only the first turn, and the rats can melt down any moment. And the question is how aggressive is going to be uh, Melanos, because having the Wilson and those Agi5 players means that he can go for the ball more or less any time. Four rerolls, yes, with extra reroll is the. You don't want the ball on the floor. I guess he had to reroll that um, because uh, an early bolt, you know, would have made ball recovery really, really tough. Yeah, um, no, too much pressure. Melanus could have put too much pressure yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And having four rerolls is all right. The fourth and the third reroll can be greedy rolls, especially in the first half. Flicky, how are you doing? Uh, Flicky, and also uh, some stats for you, gentlemen. Today is 5th of April of uh, 2022. Unless you're watching this any other day, then check your calendar to see what day it is. It's also marks nearly the beginning of the next uh, fiscal year in the UK. So get sorted your tax evasion uh, programs. Also, I think this is one of the very few cases that High Elves have reached the semi-final of the CCL. The High Elves have never won the, the CCL, which is probably the last proper team that hasn't won CCL. Yeah, yeah very famously one of the forlorn races. Um, and if anyone can do it. That being said, both of them are having a, having a quiet start. They'll both be a little bit annoyed that their mighty blow hasn't converted a removal um but they're both experienced enough to not let that get into their head oh jimmy needs to get a good cage a very safe cage which is very difficult with all those rats uh, having that much uh, movement I was about to say, Famer, is any is any cage safe against an Agi five strip ball two heads gutter runner? Yes, the one at the eleven squares away. <laughs> Fair play, yeah, you're right. <laughs> there dies does the work. Nothing again. So both teams have brought the uh, AV7 as a lie armor. <laughs> yes, well, there are not that many blocks anyway, and I don't think no, there are too many blocks. Jimmy can be more aggressive because his elves can dodge with a 2 plus, but the Melanes is rushed the dodge away with a 3 plus. So basing is not cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm a big fan of this. Um, making Malanus roll dice basically, you know, um, so with the lineman as well. This is exactly the right thing to do. Do you count in squares uh, also for his next turn? Uh, it's uh, sad that he's carrying with that piece, that tackle, diving tackle, will be very, very useful. I don't know if I will be carrying with the strength IG, IG5 uh, catcher. I mean, after all, he's uh, bound to eat a lightning bolt at some point, so... I don't know if I like this, Feime. I don't know if I like this, putting that strength four in the mix like that. Um, not protecting, you know... It's a difficult spot for Malanus because he has to manufacture something because Jim is really, really pressuring him. But now that strength four is vulnerable to the counter hit from obviously Jim's super catcher. Yes. Also, there is a couple guard piece close by, so maybe he doesn't even need to use the strength five for catcher. Yeah, yes, absolutely. He needs to move. He can just move the... Oh, yeah. Here comes important hit here. 
Nothing. I would be. I would have been very tempted to greet that one. With the extra reroll, um, yeah, or absolutely. Rolls. Why not? Why yes. not? Also, the side step now makes things, uh, you know, uh, horrible there. He's giving uh, a lot of free blocks thanks to that uh, guard being there, and then he can move the other guard inside, and uh, <clears throat> and that's Malinus can feel Malinus can feel a little bit aggrieved the fact that um, two turns in and he. Literally hasn't rolled a pal yet, <laughs> but yeah, Flicky. Um, oh, sorry, dog to the dog. Think I agreed that. Yeah, um, that would have been an. It was a key target as well, wasn't it? The blodge stepper. Yes. No, no. You have to go for that kind of pieces when they. Yeah. When they are offered. I mean, that's why you know I was I really agreed it. And now Malanes, if he's thinking about basing even more uh, of uh, Jimmy's pieces, is going to make a mistake. Because I think he has uh, seen now that he has invested a lot of players in one side of the pitch and the gutter runners more or less are very unprotected. Yes, Jimmy is already setting the target there. Yeah, this feels this feels a little bit too rowdy for my liking. And when I'm saying something is too rowdy, you know, it means it's proper rowdy. Relying on a dodge from a lino now to protect these gutters. Lucky. If that was a failure, that would have been horrible. He could have uh, hit the gutter runners with the tackler uh, catcher. Yeah, didn't like that turn at all from Alanus. I think he's committed way too much. Oh, okay. Well, wrestle is good enough. He was counting with a the chain there. We're getting a pow chain, and then he could have hit the. Extremely boring block, uh, guys. Yeah, both coaches deciding to roll a bag of shit. For their block, okay, guys. Here comes the big one. Good. Kill it. Kill it. Okay, just a stand. Jim just has to keep his head here, which he will do. Um, you know, he was a little bit unlucky not to get removal there. Um, in Malanus is getting lucky, isn't he? He requires uh, to get casualties because chaos uh, doesn't matter because he has the babes. Yeah, yeah. I, I love the babes. I'm, I wouldn't have hated the Apo either. And I know there was a bit of debate before the start of the game. Um, I think you and Jim were leaning slightly towards the Apo, which is yeah. fine. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. Personally, I would have preferred the babes. Now... It's going to backfire spectacularly if Jim goes on a tear and gets a bunch of Kazis. You know, it's still only turn three. There's a lot of game left here. And now the rats are very tied down. I think uh, Malalanus uh, went for a fight and now he has found himself in a fight. which is the absolute last thing you want to be as a Skaven coach in a scrap, going toe-to-toe. Yeah. -to -toe. Especially with the opponent uh, team can dodge to plus and all of them uh, and are immune to one in nines because everybody has block or wrestle. Marzum, is this the pacifist semi-final? Yeah, brought to you by Greenpeace and Fluffy Bunnies.
It may appear calm now, but there will be an explosion at some point. Jim guarantee. Oh, yeah. Jim just weighing up his options here. Yeah, Malan is just taking his time. It's complicated because <laughs> he knows all his uh, game depends on the two IG5 uh, gutters. Yeah. <clears throat> and yes, the strength five doesn't have tackle, but has strength five. It's three dice versus any of the gutters. Yeah. He's going to... No, that's, uh, that's not a 1D. That's a red, that's red dice. All right, now, what is going to be the Blitz? Okay, Feyme, I officially hate wanted. this. Yes, <laughs> like, yeah, I don't like it at all. I don't <laughs> like it at all. Who are we to say if it's right or wrong? But this is fucking horrible. Can 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 get even worse. He's risking <laughs> another of the gutters, putting another of the gutters on the line. Okay, gets the pow. Finally gets a pow. No armor break. Malanus, luck a dog. <laughs> so Feymer, if you're a betting man, um, and I know you like the odd flutter, are we kissing goodbye to that Adji 5-2 heads gutter runner right now? Many, many chances. That is what I get to hit, yes. Many, many, many chances. Or that one that just came down the, yeah. the, the, the oh, side step, yeah. uh, IG5. Yes, that's the one getting hit. There is a, a straight line for three dice. Or he can go even three dice. Oh, and he forgot to uh, get up one of his players, one of the rats, the lineman rat there. So that's the guard and the tackler uh, free. I think that was deliberate, wasn't it? Leaving him down. I think that was deliberate. Really? I would have put him up. He's at least take care of, you know, making yeah, him roll yeah. dice with uh, that tackler. Is, uh... So, I, I quite like that from Alanus there. Um, you know, obviously pumping the gutter runner forwards. It means Jim has to shore up yes. position. You know, Jimmy has um, to act now. Yeah, yeah. So that that was a good move from Malanus. I know we've been pretty critical of Malanus, or I have, for the last couple of minutes. But that was a good move. You know, makes Jim move away from the sit deep punch rats in the face strategy oh fortunate one in nine there well not one in nine but no no luck and now has to make a white cage i think so, next turn could be the wizard turn for malanes yeah, yeah. So, Feyme, would you prefer the 3D option with Mighty Blow or the 2D option with Tackle? I think I might have popped for the 3D option with Mighty Blow. Gone rowdy. Yes, because uh, three dice for a pow. How's the... Yes. Yeah. Again, understand why Jim's done what he's done. Um, you know, but personally, I think I would have preferred the 3D option. And maybe with a reroll. You know, it's the, such a key player. The tackler, yes. I think I, I, I think I would agree with that uh, with the tackler. Yeah, no, I'd see. Uh, this is the this is the basher in me talking. Uh, you know, actually, it's just as well Jim didn't re-roll, as yeah. I said earlier, because he just popped the snakes there. Oh, Jimmy needed a powder.
I think this is the turn of the wizard. What? Wait. No. Oh, no. Oh, he's coming for the strength five. Oh, this is... Yeah, do you know what? I like this as well. Yes, he's, yes. He's seen an opportunity. He's got mighty blow tackle. Yes, that's yeah. why Jimmy needed, the, the, needed the, the power on the tackler mighty blow. I was just finishing off my spicy chicken there, Faymir. And to be fair, we need to talk a little bit about Jim putting his strength five high and dry here, don't we? Well... It's very, I mean, if he was, uh, he was counting on getting a better result on the, the top uh, area of the pitch. Yeah. Got to re-roll that. Oh, oh, Jim gets away with it. Luck oh. of the dog. Okay, so Jim putting that straight right. So I'm just going to throw this out there. Yeah, you know I'm Jim's boy. Okay, I'm 100% team fantastic. Yeah, but, but that, that was horrible. Was a little too much. That was, uh, it was horrible. Optimal. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, suboptimal is a nice way to put it. Horrible, okay? I, I didn't like it one little bit. As it is, you know, Nuffle has smiled upon Jim and he's got away with it. Jim Jim actually had a pretty poor turn last turn with regards to block dice again, rolled snakes. So he was probably feeling a little bit aggrieved. Oh, here we go. Business is just picked up. Oh. You can't save him, Feme. You can't no, save him. You can't. He's thinking about saving him, but I think this is a skip. Well, Rando Loner uh, hits. Yeah. <laughs> you know, this movement bust happen. movement bust isn't the worst, is it? So it doesn't matter, he's not going to play the final anyway. Oh, of course not. Of course not. <laughs> Uh oh. <laughs> that player is 100% dead, but. Yeah, a yeah, yeah. Dodge guard, you know. Is, uh, yeah, yeah. Ooh, rolling a wonder would have been so sweet. Yeah, absolutely, Johnny Five. Um, I, think, um, I think on balance, Jim losing that player as opposed to his strength five mighty blow catcher. Um, if I was Jim, I'd probably be looking for a silver lining out of that cloudy last turn, you know? He has a lot of uh, options here to get hits. He has three hits with a mighty blow piece. Ah, I was waiting for that sweet, sweet sound. It's strange, isn't it, Faymir? Because Malanus's block dice up till that last hit have been absolute pure trash. Yes. That being said, um, you know, the attrition that's been inflicted on him has been pure trash. So in one hand, you can consider yourself pretty unlucky. But in another hand, he's been exceptionally lucky, hasn't he? Um, and do you know what? Both coaches are having their mix of good and bad luck here. This game is still absolutely on a knife edge. Yes, the only thing that Jimmy has going for him is that the rats grab the ball. He has players quick enough to uh, catch them. Yeah. Uh, dog to the dog, yeah, you're absolutely right. Maybe it was a calculated risk from Jim, hanging his strength five out, you know, to avoid the wizard. Cool, I mean, yes. Cool, yeah, I mean. yeah. Obviously, that's some next level shit that's way beyond <laughs> my meager blood bowl skill. <laughs> oh, I like this. Oh, Jim can't find a pal. But now the be... strength five is very well protected. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've got to be honest, Feme, um, the lack of pals would be starting to rub me up the wrong way right now, they'd be starting to piss me off. Well, not much to say, but yeah, I was expecting uh, Jimmy would have taken down uh, some of the rats already. But it still, it could happen any time, three rats dead, so... Well, this is the thing with elves and Skaven. If you do not remove them, they're going to ruin your day, especially a developed team, you know, and... You know, so both coaches fall under that criteria here. So Jim is far from out of this, you know. He's only one man down. Yeah, 
but uh, uh, still his team is much better than Malananus. Malananus oh, yes, has for him going the wizard. Yeah. Is Malanus cage diving here? I think it's he a little did, too early. But he did have be. a look at it, didn't he? He did have a look at it early. Um, yes. I don't know if he. I don't know if he's going to go for it here. I think he's not. No. Um. Bearing in mind, Blodstep has the ball as well, so it's going to be. It would have been really difficult for him, wouldn't it? With a good uh, ball stripper, yes. I mean, with a good uh, tackler, the uh, Russell tackler, yes, he was uh, very, very good. Yeah. <laughs> it's incredible um, how much difference one removal makes. It's incredible oh. how much difference two removals make. <laughs> oh, that's actually a big piece yeah. there. Yeah. Jim needs to do something now. Yeah, um, so the Skaven are starting to grow a big pair of bollocks. They're starting to put real pressure on Jim, the way Jim was putting pressure on the Skaven early doors. So this is starting to look a little... Oh, it's turn five, so Jim's done a pretty good job of stretching this out, but... It's starting to look a little bit ropey, and these armor breaks are really hurting Jim right now. Nah, this only means that it's gonna be a one on the wizard. I'm calling on it now. One on the wizard, fail it bolt. I don't wish ones on anyone, Feymir, but fuck wizards, <laughs> basically. I'm not wishing, I'm just stating a fact. Yeah, yeah, no, no, that's right, yeah, a bit of premonition, it's fine, but... Anyone that bases their game around a wizard deserves to roll a fucking one, as far as I'm concerned. Oh, he has a nice chain there. With yeah. The strength five to hit the... To free it. Yeah, chain, chain out the catcher, then take the 3D on one of those agi gutters. Yes. <clears throat> and he doesn't uh, risk uh, the match of his position. I think that's going to be... It, yes, free it, yeah. and hit the... Finally, finally, Jim gets a little bit of attrition, a righteous KO on turn six. You know you're in for a bad day when yeah. your first removal from Skaven is bloody turn six. Yeah, that was the one. Uh, I could have eaten the other one, but I was too risky. Oh. Uh, probably go up a square. No, across. That's rowdy. Betty. <clears throat> Think Jimmy maybe has to dodge, yes. Yeah. <clears throat> How you doing, Volcajo? Yep. Uh, Johnny Five, yeah, obviously Jimmy and his gaping hole one turn touchdown defense strategy is uh, now a legendary bit of Blood Bowl lore. Oh, yes, everybody knows how it is. Oh, my God, he has to reroll this one. Yeah. Oof. That was a bit lucky, otherwise, uh, Malanus would have been all over Jim's tradesman's entrance. Oh, there is a nice fireball here. 
he wants to use it. The strength five, the ball carrier, the AG5. Which is worse, 0 1 whiz gone or 1 1 whiz in second half? Um, probably whiz gone, isn't it? Having a whiz in pocket. The later you can keep the wizard, I think on balance, the more effective he becomes. So, ah, oh, there's a big fireball. I call it it. I call you it did. it. That, right, okay. okay. Who's, to, who's oh. to say? Who's to say if it's right or wrong? But I hate it. <laughs> no, yeah, I didn't like it. It's just a now of the Cinder result. I just see what you guys have. <laughs> the team fireball shop. Is, is, there, is there some beef between these guys that I don't no, know no, about? No, no, no. no the shit fireball not. shop. The shit <laughs> shop. It's, a common, it's a common thing now, a common comment now and a joke. Running yeah, joke. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. But he can hit the ball. Yeah, he can. He can, he can manufacture easy. a 2D on the ball here as well. Very easy. Yeah. Very, terrible recovery. Terrible, terrible recovery. Sidestep could well save Jim here. Um, so even if he gets knocked down. Still hated the fireball. Hey, it may, you know, it, it's a bold strategy. It may pay off, but I still hated it. It's a different recovery, but uh, there is uh, still a good bunch of helps there and uh, diving the sidestep. Ooh. And here it comes. Well, you can count with this because he's going to invest a reroll and everything. Yeah, yeah. This is going to go all, all in on this. Doesn't None. need to. Gets the power. Yeah, Jim's just got to go straight back, isn't he? Yep. Ah, oh, the remove. The armor break is brutal there, Fame. Um, oh. The Skaven have really woken up in turn five and six, haven't they? Daisy diving tackled. I sleep for a turn. Do you know what? Do you go for a pass over that catcher, over the high off catcher here? No, he's just gonna he's just gonna try and run and gun it. Oh, that feels this feels risky, Fame. It's ninety five, so risky. The thing is, if he gets the ball. What to do with it? Yeah. He's going to punt it. He's going to pass it to the... Oh, he could pass it to the Storm Vermin that is moving down. I don't like this. For Jim. <clears throat> yes, that we go then. This is for all the apples. Time to roll the dice. Oh, that's a lot of uh, messages on the screen, pal. <laughs> I mean, he still has the roll. Oh, he makes the first one, which was the key one. Oh, he it, makes oh. everything. Blessed rat. Blessed rat. And now an easy, Good easy God. pass, and that's it. Disgusterous. Absolutely disgusting. God. I hate Agi 5 and Wizards so very much. And the pass is a 6. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, brutal. I do you know what? I'd want to kill someone for that. I, 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 I would actually want to. I'd fucking be turning line. tables over and shit right now. Yeah, that's brutal, <laughs> but fair play. So we're saying that we hated the fireball, um, Faymir. What do we fucking know? 
<laughs> well, if he, after the fireball you manage to get every single roll without needing to do yeah. or anything. Yeah. It was a, it was a lot of rolls, wasn't it? A lot of rolls. Yes. And every bastard wood elf or elf coach, every bastard Skaven coach, I can hear him now going, Oh, look how superior I am! Oh, I can roll a fucking two plus and win a game! God, I hate you all with a burning passion of a thousand supernovas. <laughs> oh look! I got an AG5, let's roll 2 plus and then claim I'm superior to every bash coach ever! God damn it! Anyway, back to the game, right? This looks over, <laughs> but it's never over until Nuffle clears her pipes and starts singing. Things can happen, things can happen. Yeah, yeah. But uh, it's not looking good. No, it's looking exceptionally bad. So, attrition is borderline level. Slightly better for the rats, but... <laughs> yeah, Yeti, it was pretty savage. It was a bit of a fatality, wasn't it? Um, but then, you know, Jim's the first one to say, uh, you know, if you're going to dish it out, you've got to be able to take it as well. well they know each other. Yeah, so it's all good. Game. It's all good. Anyway, I like my blood bowl the way I like my chicken, Fame Spicy as fuck. Yes, yes, you've been mentioning the spicy chicken for a while. <laughs> Okay, Jimmy now has a uh, one turn to hit as many things as possible. Yeah, Jim's going to have to resort, resort to some good old fashioned uh, hurting bombs here. I don't know if pushing a tackler in front of your gutter runner was the right move there. <laughs> Used to say if it was right or wrong, Fame. <laughs> you could have chained the tackler away. Yeah. From your gutter runner. Ooh. Another oh, these... oh. Yeah, these armor breaks are catching up to Jim, aren't they? Um, certainly from turn five. Uh, I did say that. There was going to be an ex explosion. It was more of a fizzle pop, you know. It was more like an Asda sort of £2.99 party popper as opposed to a nuclear strike. That being said, Agi5, click 2 plus. Look how fucking big my bollocks are and watch me win. Oh yeah, that turn was a perfect turn for the rats. Yeah, it was. It was. <clears throat> oh, look! Oh, look! Aye. Oh, this great soul. So, although it's bad form to wish bad dice on your opponent, it's perfectly good form to wish a player to die from a crowd surf. Three KOs in, t in eight turns against Armor 7 with Mighty Blow. It's not good. <clears throat> Oh, all day, Berserk. All day. <laughs> I 
Congrats to Malanus. Goes 1 0 up. Oh, good. What chaos come now? Oh, I want to stay away. So it's 10 versus 10. Yeah, Bal Mal Melka, um, how you doing? Uh, yeah, it, two babes, although one did fail. So yeah, as Fame has just correctly pointed out, 10 v 10. But so what do you do here, Fame? Here? Do you, you don't dack her. You quick score, don't you? Uh, with the rats, the rats can can't dack her. Jimmy is too fast, and in the first half, Jimmy is. couldn't dack her either because the rats were too fast and has a wizard. Of so he, he dack us. Yes. The gutter just move, lightning ball, pick up the ball, scores. Good. Dakarin is for Belens anyway. Ah, uh, Johnny Five, I've been doing this for a while. I've been doing this for a while now. You know, it's a second nature for me now. Of course, when Jim Dakers, it's fine. When everyone else Dakers, massive Belend. Say the steps to the sides. <clears throat> um, Steve Motti, yeah, I think Jim. Jim really has to be aggressive here, doesn't he? He's got no choice. He just needs to high roll, remove a bunch. He needs to remove a bunch of rats, <clears throat> get in his face, make Malanus roll dice. Although the way Malanus is rolling dice from turn five. <laughs> Muslim. Short kick blitz would be very nice here. <laughs> oh, <laughs> dog yes. to the dog. Yes, a blitz here will be magical. And that's not wishing bad dice on your opponent. That's wishing that the kickoff result is in your favour. That's absolutely fine as well. Oh, one in nine. <clears throat> okay, so a little bit at a time here. Um, you know, if Jim manages to survive the LOS hits. Yeah, I don't know if uh, Malanus is even going to bleed. Ah, okay, he can bleed the the guard piece. Provide the assist with the lineman and do the blitz with the loner. How nice is it when you can actually put a blood stepper on each flank, you know, as a single player to cover the wide the wide zones? It's just lovely, isn't it? Yes. <clears throat> yeah, dog to the dog. Um, his LOS is a little bit flat here, isn't it? Um, Jim can base up guard lock. So, yeah, it's pretty crap, isn't it? <laughs> in a word. Dog to the dog, showing his superior blood bowl strat strategic knowledge. <clears throat> Not much damage. One cast for uh, Jim and one KO for the rats. Yeah, Jim, Jim got pretty lucky on the KO results, didn't he? Um, two for two, which was lovely. Well, and now Jimmy can put a lot of pressure. Yeah. 
good. Ah, oh, fucking hell. This is still good, though, um, because Jim can effectively lock up five rats here. You know, and what does Malanus do? Other than rely on Agi 5, you know, which who wouldn't want to rely on that? But yeah, I think I think Jim now gets really rowdy and bases up this entire LOS. Marvelous. He can uh, keep target a million rats. I, I, I'll be honest with you, I didn't love that blitz. That being said, with two guards storm vermin, it would have been significantly more difficult to lock them down. <clears throat> So at least you're freezing one Storm Vermin out of the equation here with a Strength 5. That I do like. <clears throat> and now the Davin Tackler... Doing the Lord's job. No need to base. That's all right. Yeah, no, I like I like this. This is really good. Uh, Jim's got a sweeper, obviously the tackle catcher. Um, back for the inevitable um, uh, gutter runner at five. Let's run like fuck potato. I don't like Jim not following up on that gut, um, on that storm vermin because now that storm vermin could blitz right through this Agi Five catcher. Now I think he's going to do a hit with the well. He could blitz yes with the tackler the, the yeah. Agi Five. Yeah, yeah. If he blitzes with the Storm Vermin, the prone Storm Vermin, I know it's a GFI to hit that catcher. If it pays off, then he's got two players which can actually, you know, he could run down the sideline then. Complicated. He needs to take care of the diving tackler. The AG5 is nice and all yeah, that, but the diving yeah. tackler is there is fucking a fucking menace. Yeah, yeah. Um, this is almost a mirror of the first half when Malinus started to put pressure on Jim's ball carrier, isn't it? It's it's a similar situation but reversed. Yeah, the Malinus is counting the squares. Thankfully, Malanus decides to do something because, frankly, three-minute turns. I haven't got that long to live, you know. So uh, let's get a move on, boys. Hey, the rebel coach. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for that uh, thrower that's not great is it no nope. I really don't like the tight cage here and there is a ah, okay <laughs> the guards are in the wrong spots of the cage uh they certainly are. <laughs> well, one of them is in the right place. You know, the other ones should be at the front. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Oh, maximum reward there. Maximum reward. 
masterful play by Jim. I don't even know if you go for the ball here. Um, I think dealing with that tackle mighty blow Storm Vermin, getting him out of the equation, and then putting Blodge that DT. Oh, there we go. Oh, this is dead. Din, 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 din. Oh, now this is uh, shaping up nicely. Jim doing exactly what he needed to do here. <laughs> Get off my fucking pitch, prick. <laughs> He's going, I think uh, we're going to see diving tackle on the ball. Yeah, so I would mighty, mighty blow blitz off the Storm Vermin, push him out of the cage. Um, if you get a power removal, amazing. And then sidestep DT on the ball. But you, obviously the handoff to the guys you have to be mindful of, so you have to start basing them up as well without overcommitting. It's still, it's still tough, isn't it? <clears throat> oh, get a wrestle, maybe. He's not going to take wrestle there, is he? Nah, nah, it's useless. Taking the wrestle. This is much better. Yes. Yeah, freeze the storm vermin out. So I think I'd have preferred to push that gutter runner back a square because then the strength five catcher could have had a tackle zone on both of them. You could have dropped the uh, blood step diving tackle in then and that gutter runner wouldn't be giving him an assist. I tell you what I was thinking. Jimmy is planning, planning to put the guard, one of the guards in some area close to the cage so the diving tackler can get the to die set. Yeah. And that's that's the right one to do to do it. Oh fucking one in nine. No, I'm too that's a really good point, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Essentially Agi six. Yeah, diving tackle. Yeah, it's a bit of a waste uh, of time, I guess. Uh, it's diving tackle tackle. So you know uh... Yeah, but he still breaks on a two plus, doesn't he? Agi six. Two heads, uh, yes. two heads, five. Yes, I, that's why I thought he was going to put him uh, next to the ball. Yeah, yeah. And one of the guards uh, around so to cancel off the assists. So the... And I think, yes, it's, happen it's happening. Not yet. No, Jim, Jim's realised. So Jim's realised what we didn't and no Anto did. <laughs> Yeah, you could have also just handed off. So I, I like the fact that I like the fact that Jim hasn't overcommitted to ball basing here. Well, he has the sweeper in a good position and the diving tackler in a good position, so the rats cannot run uh, Jimmy this time. So that's good. Yeah, bearing in mind, um, so he's he's men up now. You know, uh, both the storm vermin are pretty locked, aren't they? Yes. And well, all all the players bar the gutter runners are locked right now. So, you know, um, Malanus has a real problem. If he opens with a one D, he's in a big, big problem because there are other ways of dealing with it. If he opens with a one D, he's a fucking bell end. But I can't see him opening with a one D. I don't think Malanus has played bad here at all. I think he's played no, well. No, no, he given, has very good recovery. Given, chance, given what's health. yeah, yeah, given what's happening. Given what's happened in the context of the game, you know, he's exploited the the dice. This is the squeaky bam uh, moment, you know, those one in 36. Yeah, yeah. That, that are bound to happen at some point. Oi. Oh, you tried to talk that shit in fame here. <laughs> <clears throat> uh. 
That's not enough by far. So, five plus for a cage dive, isn't it? Yes, or he can blitz with a tackler the two heads and then put yeah. a diving tackler on the ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like a million uh, other things like that. Oh, that's disgusting. That is disgusting. Minus 2D. No one wants to see that shit. I think it was a good choice given the circumstances. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it, was still <laughs> it was more or less okay. It's not like he could have much more, you know? So, yeah. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's a mistake you made there. That wasn't the place. Oh, now maybe. Well, decision time. Jesus Christ. Jesus. Oh, that, that is oh, mad. Oh, the toxicity. Oh. <laughs> Pure poison there. Yeah, easiest four plus of his life. Okay, uh, so so three plus two plus to <laughs> hit the street baller with a two dice and tackle it. Oh my god, I didn't even need him in there. Oh, what a fucking moron. Oh no, I did. No, I didn't need him in there. Oh god. <laughs> Beautiful. Bit of chain work there from Jim. Where do we go, lads? Oh, uh, what? Oh. Yeah, it was a lovely play. Uh, not rewarded. That was it. Yeah, yeah. Um, Johnny Five, I had this conversation with Jim uh, recently on my stream. The fact that Jim is such a consummate player and he's been playing this so long. Um, he just he just sees what he needs to do within seconds. You know, he doesn't need to, you know, friggin' miss the page it and spend four and a half days looking at all the angles and then decide to move in the last three seconds. Can he stall here? He can try. But this is uh, very risky. Yeah, it feels risky, but I. Yeah, I think he's looking for it. Yes. I don't know if the stall is the solution to this uh, situation, but also giving the elves uh, five turns. Oh, 
I think stalling is the right thing to do here. Um, sod the surf rat. <laughs> Fiction. He has, you know. I think uh, Malanes is all right with uh, getting a rat surface. Yeah, yeah. That's interesting. Okay, next turn, Malanes is forced to score. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> And obviously, Jim will take this uh, surf here. You never know. Oh, well, a KO better than nothing, but... Not with two babes, eh? <laughs> no. <clears throat> yeah. Trip, absolutely. Uh, stalling was the right thing to do there, wasn't it? It was the right thing to do. Yes, and now Malane is, uh, scores, recover his chaos. Ten to ten. Yeah, Babe's proven to be a devastating hire. Yes, yes, yes. God damn, you were right. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes, well, I'm not right on a lot, to be fair, Fame. Um, and I'm good with that. You know, I came to peace. I came to terms with that a long time ago. I made my peace with that. But yeah, sadly, on this occasion, it looks like I am. Um, Colt Volcaggio, I think this is exceptionally close to being over right now because. Even if Jim, uh, wow, Jim realistically needs to one turn it, doesn't he? Yes. Two turn just doesn't. Th yeah, two turn just doesn't feel like enough, does it? No. Nope. Yeah, if he left a one turn, um, I think he has a bit. And that was down to lack of men's. This uh, one turn defense is straight out the fumble playbook, isn't it? <laughs> with, the, with the gap between the uh, three LOS players. I think he's uh, investing uh, in the two turn and the quick... Uh... Yeah. And, uh, okay, someone already has the uh, answer to misspell three. Malaneus summoning the Blitz. Yeah, absolutely, Trip. Um, you know. <laughs> I lo love the banter between these two. Love it.
Of course, one of the things that Jim has to be mindful of is uh, Malanus is still perfectly capable of cage diving himself, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who's blitzing? I don't think Jim's going to... Well, he might blitz off the Storm Vermin and then form a Vangabus. Yeah, that's what he's going to do, isn't it? But then why not blitz with the... Uh, Stern 5? Uh, hit, you know, hit that Storm Vermin and then... Uh, yeah, I, I, do you know what? We can't be too critical right now because, you know, Jim is 2-0 down, so he has to make shit happen. But this cage dive seems quite doable. Yeah, Berserk, as I said earlier, you know, if if you're playing an elf team or a, you know or a high mobility agi team, um, and you don't get removals, you're in for a bad night. Yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, not enough hyperbole on uh, that comment <laughs> for dog to the dog <laughs> yes the IE6 also has a strip ball yeah or maybe he's going uh, aiming to to hit the strength 5 I'd be tempted to double GFI with the um, the two heads at G5 here for the strip ball. Yeah. Trips just said that this as well. I'd be very tempted to do this with the with the stripper. No, he's gone in with him. Down the fails. He's just a push and there is no strip why, ball. Why wouldn't you roll that? Right, re-roll that right now. You know, four re-rolls. I I I would have rolled it down this. No, well, the loudness was yes to get the one dice. I guess, uh, yeah, I, I, dog to the dog, I would have re-rolled that. Um, I, I understand the rationale behind not re-rolling it because, uh, yeah, fucking equity. Um, but to be fair, um, even if nah, he managed to get a... Even if he gets, uh, you know, the, the ball on the floor, Who's recovering it? Yeah, absolutely. You have the IE5, okay, but also Jimmy has a lot of helps in the scoring range anyway, so... Yeah. Finally. <laughs> it's only taken 14 turns. <laughs> yes. This is the upper fail. Uh, barkeep, I'll have a pint of this uh, 
Skaven armor, please. Holy shit. <laughs> so, Faymir, if ever Jim needed a blitz, now is the time. Now is the time <laughs> for our blitz, yes. The whole of Team Fantastic is praying to the mighty Nuffle right now for the blitz. Or a riot. Yep. Yeah. Let's not be greedy, James. A riot is good as well. No, I prefer a blitz because I think if I turn to the opponent. Happy Chuckles has fallen to their knees. 6 4, 6 4, 5 5. It's on the dice. I've seen it happening before. It was on the iron roll roll of the. Uh... It was on the iron roll roll of the gutter. You can see that there. Six match, six plus four. That's it. Fighting mongoose, Marzum, Hellboy, everybody willing it in. Don't quite know what the dog emote is for fiction, but I feel your passion. <laughs> Prayers. Thoughts and prayers. Ugh. Ah, 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 fucking blood ball. Kickoffs <laughs> have been horribly tame in <laughs> this game. And here comes the Daka. Yeah, this is going to be a trip. This is not going to be a super cage. This is going to be a mega bunker. Yeah, James, the, the legendary Pigstar 69 mega bunker. Yeah, so Jim's probably going to be at a base two, maybe maybe four Skaven here. <clears throat> His last turn here will just be him hunkering down in the corner, won't it? Um, yes. Side step, side step on the gutter. You're just going to mega bunker around a corner. That's your blitz, Jimmy. That's your blitz. At least we're getting a lot of hacks the second half, which is, you know, for the hack counter, very important. Yeah. <clears throat> also, the team waiting uh, for whoever wins this in the finals is Naiperino 9000 uh, Nargel Neymar team. Which, if oh. Sniperino wins and uh, doesn't say who is he really, I'm going to say it's me. You know, I'm going to just take all the credit for it as quick as possible, as soon as the game ends. Ha! 
Oh, that was going to catch up with Jim sooner or later, wasn't it? Yes, that is, yeah, he got a lot of rerolls. Uh, no, I don't know about the blitz here. I think I would have refused the blitz. Um, that loner's just locked on a DT, and he diving tackle. So, yes, I was thinking about that. It's going to be the new Spartacus, you know. It's not Perino. It was me. It was me. You know, I think that they want to. Yeah, here we go. So, <clears throat> absolutely bunkering down in the middle. Well, Jimmy is going to need some kind of a K4 level of uh, tactics to be able to break that thing. I don't think it's going to be broken. No, this is, uh, yeah. I might have been tempted to put the gutter runner right in the corner. Um, I guess it's. I guess putting him where he is, um, you, you know, you're not going to be scattering the ball into the crowd. Uh, Irish rounder, the yeah, um, Walling is actually fine, isn't it? Because he's sidestep, so you know, Jim won't be able to manufacture a chain. So yeah, just Walling is good. No, I. I think I think in this occasion, Walling would have been better. Oh, total Leroy Jenkins coming in now. Wish I had my SFX. <laughs> you see, you would give me a chance because Jimmy now has a chance. Involves rolling a lot of uh, sixes. Yeah, um, but that chance could have been avoided. Yeah, I think I think that's pretty bad, <laughs> if I'm honest. You know, don't get me wrong; it's still a really low odds chance in it, but it should have been a no odds chance. It is an actual chance. Yeah, he's got to roll an absolute fuck ton of dice, mind, but. Yeah, Irish rounder. I agree. Someone is gonna is going to die on display. I don't know. It's gonna be the gutter or the strength five. Jesus Christ! That was that that was quick. Yeah, too quick, wasn't it? All right, game over. See you later, guys. It's been a pleasure. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Ah. Uh, uh, what to say, Malanis got all the dice when he needed them, and Jimmy didn't got them when he needed them or not. Yeah. Boo. Boo. <laughs> I, was just, I was just saying that uh, he got all the dice he needed when he needed them. Yeah, he did, didn't he? I mean, it was a good wizard. Uh, like, he, he didn't roll that well on him, but it was good enough, wasn't it? Like, yeah, it was, ball. yeah. It, his turn five and six were pretty insane. I mean, it was a good wizard because later he rolled like a 72 plus uh, to grab the ball and run away, you know, like yeah. Yeah. a lot of rolls. Yeah, it worked out. It worked out very well. But uh, I mean, the middle loads of blocks against armor seven did nothing. But yeah, I don't know. It just is what it is, isn't it? Wow, my, my yeah. dodges were 59%. <laughs> yeah. I've just done the maths, Jim, and you did the square root of fuck all damage. Yeah. In that game, it was pretty bad, wasn't it? And uh, I, I said from the off, if you don't remove, you know, if you're playing against an elf or a high agi team, if you don't remove players, they're going to ruin your day. And that's pretty much what happened, wasn't it? Yep. 59% dodges versus 88% dodges. Oof. But I mean, he, he did he did the right things, didn't he? Fair play to him. Um... Yes. At least the MVP went to the dead. 
Yeah. He, yeah, he will have to live with that. He will have to live with that. Yeah. And he will have to play Sneperino 9000. <laughs> that uh, I already called dips first. If Sneperino wins, I, I'm going to say it's me. <laughs> yeah. it, it, it was me all along. Yeah. And, uh, thanks, everyone. I mean, that makes sense to me, Fami. If you, if, if only if you win, though, right? Not if you finish second. <laughs> exactly, exactly. If it's a second and a half, better keep it in secret. No, yeah, I mean he had the he had the he had the he had the dauntless rackle, right? So no no fireball was gonna be bad for him. Like at the end of the day, I would just I just obviously hope to like, you know, get a bit more luck on the wizard turn basically. It was always gonna be it was always just gonna be critical, right, the wizard turn and I survived two of them against uh against Alma and Rick and then didn't didn't survive this one. It just is what it is, isn't it? Uh, yes, yeah, I, was. I thought he played well. I thought he played well, and, and you know, congrats to him. And I do, I do wish him luck in the final. So there you go. Commiserations, me. Congratulations, Malala News. <laughs> Thank you very much, Faimir and Kelsey. I'm absolutely glad. Uh, it's always, always a pleasure. Cheers, You're welcome, guys. mate. You're welcome. Thanks. Thanks, everybody, and uh, <laughs> thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.